bitch. I just came to play, uh -huh. baby. Yeah. Baby, let me tell you, you're so fine, you're so sexy. What is up everybody, it's your boy King Boys Productions and I am back at it with another reaction video. So today I am here with Fetty Wap, Bruce Wayne. This is the official music video. Um, so when you guys are watching this, it had actually come out yes or two days ago. Um, I was thinking about like, uh, like when I saw that it dropped, I was going to go downstairs like to my room. Obviously it's in my room, it's in the, the basement. Um, I was thinking about like going, coming down here, reacting to it. Um, editing it and posting it like the same night so like it was like last night or two nights ago when the other videos posted but I was like you know what? I'll just wait you know I mean it's it's a music video so it's not like you know we've all already heard the song if you're a Fetty fan you've probably already heard the song by now so um, I was just like I'll just wait a few I'll just wait a little bit and then you know uh, I had a video posted yesterday it was a Fetty Wap song and people were actually like like, I had a ton of comments in there that were like, yo, react to this, react to the video, react to the... Video. So I was like, all right, you guys want it. So uh, here we go. Let's react to it. And I, I know that there's a video coming for Strawberry Kush, too. They were filming that a, a little bit ago. I saw that on, like, in, the Instagram stories. Like, people were, uh, like, out of, they're on, like, the, like, this pool or whatever, and they were, like, f like, filming it, and they said. So that's coming out soon, too. So let's get it. This is a nice shot, though. One of my friends actually said something to me, or said something the other day, that's actually like really true. Is like, it doesn't matter. You can be the worst, um, the worst videographer alive. If you have a drone, you can make any drone footage looks good. So like, if you're like not a very good cin at, at cinematography, if you just have a drone, it can look good. Like drone shots always look good, no matter what. And I was like, damn, that's true as shit though, because like. You literally, it's almost impossible to make a drone shot look bad. Unless you're like absolute dog shit at flying it. <sighs> look at that car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Fizzle. All right. All right. Money keeps flipping all the time. That is fine, that is fine. Spice on these niggas, you can't take it when you die. Money keep flipping all the time, all the time. Bitch, I'm Bruce Wayne, I keep money on my mind. Up if you up, then it's fine, then it's fine. Splash on these niggas, you can't take it when you die. Splash, nigga, I just spent 200 on an Audi. A fast car, duck a 12 speed on a highway. Gang with me, fuck. We gon' do this our way Playin' with me We gon' breeze through his driveway Hangin' with me Roll up weed like it's Friday Doors on my car They go up They go sideways Bone up a tea let, let me eat Let me eat Let a nigga know Is it beef? Is it beef? Saw in the air Black man in the streets John 14 Black man on my feet Bitch, I'm Bruce Wayne Stocks up Come and see I put diamonds on my neck And my watch Cause it be Money keep flippin' Hey, bitch, I'm Bruce Wayne. I keep money on my mind. Uh, if you up, then it's fine. Then it's fine. Smash on these niggas, you can't take it when you die. Money keep flipping all the time. All the <laughs> Look time. at this guy. Bitch, I'm Bruce Wayne. I keep money on my mind. Why is he hitting that low? Yeah, there's a lot of people on this crew, damn. It was, a little, it was a good little video. I liked it. Um, the one thing I'm wondering, though, is, like, I don't know, that 300 at the end kind of, like, I don't know. I just want to know, like, when is this, is this fucking, <laughs> this goddamn album going to drop? Like, I know Bruce Wayne dropped, and, like, yeah, it was really good. I, I actually, like, like every song on that album, or the mixtape or whatever. And that was two months ago. I realized, like, oh, yeah, you can't expect someone to 
cons co like keep posting music all the time. You know, I get that, but like, I'm just like confused as to like, when is Bruce Wayne gonna drop? You know what I mean? It's like he said it was gonna like the Fetty Wap mixtape. The Fetty Wap original album came out in 2015. It is 2018 now. You know, I thought. I was reading stories about it like last, like in 2016, saying like he was gonna drop it in September of 2016, and then I read other things that was like he's gonna drop it in you know 2017, early 2017. Then I saw oh he's gonna drop it you know in September of 2017. Now I've heard people talk about how he's gonna drop it in September of 2018. It's like I want him to confirm it, but like it's the fact that it's like I understand. The, like the album is like it's like a hard thing but like it's like yo cat fucking move move but like it's like yo just i don't get what the big issue is with it is it like is it the label that's like not letting him p like put it out cuz like some of the mixtapes that he's dropped recently have not been like the, you can kind of tell on youtube too because like so like for my fans too none of that music is copyrighted which I'm not saying go and steal his music because that's kind of fucked, but like, th like when I made those videos, I was able to make I I don't make money on the channel still because I don't have enough subscribers. Subscribe, I'm almost at a thousand. Um, but like, I would be able to make money off those. Like Bruce Wayne was copyrighted, so like with 300 Entertainment and everything like that. So like, is it the label that's like not letting him put this out, or is it like himself that he's like, no, I don't want, I want to wait, I want to wait. But it's like. I don't know, I, I think putting that, I think, you know, because, well, that song A, that dropped last summer, or like, like, two summers ago, no, it was last summer, the song A, like, dropped, like, last summer, or maybe it was even before last summer, but, like, that was, I th was supposedly the first single off of King Zoo, so we were all sitting here, like, all of us fans were like, oh, sh oh shit, he dropped the first single off King Zoo, but I, I think that he was waiting for the hype like the hype that was around trap queen like when that dropped you know everyone was like oh shit this song is good you know and then and then my way dropped and that was so hype again dropped and that was hype six seven nine dropped that was hype you know like all these songs rgf Island, like all these songs dropped back to back to back for fetty that were like fire and like they were getting radio plays and all this and all that and then like all of a sudden they just like stopped playing him on the radio and like people, like that came the whole like, oh he fell off, he fell off after like this, he fell off. Oh god, he fell off. But it's like people, and I I think it's part partly the label's fault. I really do. I think it's partly Three Hundred Entertainment's fault in the fact that he sort of fell off per se. And people say you know a rapper falls off if he doesn't make a lot of mainstream music anymore. Which Fetty doesn't, unfortunately. You know, the last mainstream song he was on was with the one with Six Nine, and I don't know if that was really considered mainstream, but that was like probably the most popular song he's been on in like the last two years. Which is like, but the thing is, it's like he makes good music, and obviously us fans, we like his music, and we think that you know he's we, obviously we know that he didn't fall off. He's still the same guy, and he still makes the same same music, and it's still always good. But the thing is, is like. In the eyes of the media, he fell off because of the fact that he hasn't made any hits in a few in a few years. But the thing is, it's like that is part. Like I said, it's partially to do with the label. Cause yeah, you can get your songs out there and they can get popular, and like you put a song there and it gets it gets radio play because of like, you know, oh yeah, this is this is cool. We like this. But then after that, your label should start promoting the hell out of your songs. You know, like oh, he dropped a new single. We're going to promote the hell out of it. We're going to tell radio stations. We're going to pay radio stations to play this song so it gets hype. You know, but then people are like, you know, that's that's how this business works. That's how the rap business and music business in general works is that people have to pay radio stations to play their song to promote it. You know, people will call into radio stations all the time. Yeah, yeah what song was that? That shit was hot. Oh, it was Fetty Wap's new song, Bruce Wayne. Oh, shit, for real? And then they might go cop it. They might go buy it. They might go, you know. And then the song might go popular and then start playing on other radio stations without having to be, like, paid for. That's what a label is supposed to do. And I feel like 300 has so many artists to a point where it's like, 
they can't keep tra not not like they can't keep track, but like they don't promote all their artists equally. I don't think. So, I hope King Zoo drops soon. But like, I feel like I feel like they're three hundreds holding it until the hype comes back. And unfortunately, 300 has to cause the hype to come back. And I think they blew it back in 2015, back, tw back in 2016, when they didn't promote his album. I think if if 300 would have helped push out more of Fetty's singles, like the new ones that he dropped off of that album, then that album would have already been out, and that art album probably would have been a success, like his first album. But they didn't want to push it, so now we're sitting here in 2018, three years after the debut album dropped, still wondering when album number two is going to drop, the official album number two. Obviously, we've gotten mixtapes, and they've all been good, and obviously, if I, us fans enjoy it, but I'm sick and tired of people saying, oh, he fell off, because of the fact that he hasn't had a hit in so long. That's, that's not on him. You know, he's doing his job. It's part of the labels. That's part of your job as a label, is to push your artist's music on streaming platforms, on all of this. You know? Like on Spotify. You should push the hell out of the song. Promote it. Make sure that it's promoted on, on people's SoundCloud. You know? Not SoundCloud. On Spotify. Apple Music. Promote the hell out of it. Like, like radios. Like Pandora. Just throw it into like random radio stations. People are listening to random radio stations. Like have it. Throw it in there. You know? So people are listening and all of a sudden they're like, oh shit, what is this song? I like this. That's what you're supposed to do as a label and it, I, I just feel like they're not doing it. So, I hope the album drops soon. I hope, you know, I spent all of last summer too. doing. I, I did a series called King Zoo Snippets. I did like 13 of those. And I did 13 of those and basically, it was like, usually it was like two songs a video. Or two little snippets of video. Some of those songs, yes, ended up being on, like, mixtapes and shit, but it was like, when are these songs that, like, that he's always previewing on his Snapchat and his his Instagram, when are these gonna drop? You know, it's like, why would you hold on to music? Like, that makes no sense to me. Like, oh, it's not that good, so you, like, hold, don't you hold on to it? That's so stupid to me. Just put it out on YouTube. Put it out on SoundCloud. You know, you get number, you get money for putting out music. People will listen, even if it doesn't get, you know, even if it doesn't get a hundred thousand views, it gets fifty thousand views. That's still fifty thousand views. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, once again, you know, obviously he just dropped a song like t uh, a week ago or so, and it was like a remix. So like, I, I like the remixes, but damn, can you make it your own track? Damn. Like I, the remixes are cool. I like them. You know, the little cover that he had, the coast. I like that song. I think it's a really good song. It's like, yeah, 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 Okay, sorry. But, like, make your own damn song and just put it out there. So, like, eventually maybe we might get one that will blow up again. And then, like, maybe the hype will come back. Be like, oh, shit, Fetty still has it. Phil still's got it. Um, but if you guys did like, please leave a like. Please subscribe. The original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. Um, again, make sure you guys subscribe. I am only 19 subscribers away from 1,000. And that's like like the ultimate goal is to get a thousand subscribers. I mean, obviously that's not like the ultimate goal, but that's like one of my big goals is to get over that thousand mark because I feel like once you hit a thousand subscribers, I feel like they just grow like quicker. You know, it's like your videos start getting promoted better because it's like, oh, this guy has a lot of subscribers. They must people must like this video. You know, like and then I grow faster. So thank you guys, and until next time, it's your boy King Voice Productions. Squaw.